All right, so today we're going to be talking about customer finance acquisition. Basically, what this means is you want your customer, the customer you get in today, to be paying for the customer that you get in tomorrow. What this solves is it basically removes the cap capital constraint of your business. So instead of needing to have an extensive marketing or promotion budget, you simply need to have enough that you can start the process to acquire the first customer, which will also finance the acquisition of the second customer. Okay, so let's get started. Customer finance acquisition. How to 2x your customer flow without spending more on marketing, more on promotion, more on whatever you want to call it, getting customers. Okay, a uh, quick note here. Intelligence is the speed of learning multiplied by the speed of implementation. Uh, so meaning if you get all of this information and change nothing, then um, you will not have learned anything. So please watch, uh, take some notes, begin implementing on your offer. Okay, so who is this for? This is for local service businesses, home services. So that would be uh, cleaning companies, HVAC, landscaping, etc. You can use it for clinics, beauty, chiropractors, dentists, coaches and trainers. The idea is really you're paying to acquire a customer. This is optimized towards everyone who works with leads and appointments. So someone where they need to get a phone number, speak with them and then convert them to a customer. Okay, so this would not be for something like e-commerce, for instance, although I mean, it could work, but that's not what it's geared towards. Okay, so I've helped over two dozen local service businesses, profitably 3x that customer base with one of zero offers, customer finance acquisition strategies and recruitment systems. Okay. Here are a few cases. Uh, we have more on the website if you want to read, but basically Mahmoud here added 35,000 in six months. Lasse added 35,000 in two months and Niklas added 29,000 in two months. And the whole idea with this is it's the same kind of funnel. They get an elite, they speak with them, they convert them into a customer. Ideally, we want them recurring and they want to have a strong upfront offer. Okay, so if you run a local service business and you want more customers, then this is for you. So what is fi a customer financed acquisition or CFA? You get the first customer to finance the acquisition of the next customer. Okay, very simple. So let me show you an example here. Let's say you get 100 leads. Those leads cost you $20. Okay, so depending on what you do, this will obviously change. But just for the math, you get 100 leads at $20 per lead. You have now spent $2,000. Let's say 30% of those 100 leads, they book a meeting with you or a consultation with you or a job appointment with you or whatever the first step of your conversion is. That means you'll have 30 bookings. Let's then say that 50% of those 30 bookings end up showing up. That's 15 shows. And 50% of those people who showed up, they want to say yes to your offer. They want your offer. Ideally, this should be higher, but again, just for simple math, so it all makes sense. That means that you will have approximately seven sales. Let's say that you sell them at $600 a piece. Well, then now you've generated $4,200. Okay. So you see the, the profit of, of essentially the revenue of this exceeds the amount that you put into the advertising. Now, then you also have cost of fulfillment and other things like that that needs to be accounted for. But the, the idea here is that you can now cover the $2,000 back again, plus you have capital to actually serve the customer. Okay. So the first 2000 you put in, you can actually get back and put back in. Okay. So you now have 4,200 minus 2000, which is 2,200 to acquire the next customer meaning you got your $2,000 back and made $200 on top of that on the front end sale. You can now take the 2000 and put it back into the marketing machine. Okay. Whenever you acquire one customer, the gross profit of that acquisition covers the cost of the second acquisition as well. So this is customer financed acquisition. When you acquire one customer, the gross profit of that acquisition covers the cost of acquiring the second customer. Okay. So all you need to have is enough money to make the first sale. Okay. This is what you need. So if you make more from that first sale, then for instance, the cost of acquiring the customer, the cost of fulfill that customer, plus the cost to acquire the next customer and the cost to fulfill that next customer, you have now eliminated capital as a constraint in your business. Okay, so only if 
you can cover the cost of the first customer, the fulfillment of that first customer, the cost to acquire the next customer, and the cost to fulfill the next customer. So again, depending on what you do, you might have fulfillment cost, right? Or you might have high fulfillment cost, you might have low fulfillment cost. You always have com uh, fulfillment cost. At the very least, you have your time, right? Which should also be compensated. Uh, once you, with the first customer acquisition, can pay for these four things, you eliminate capital as a constraint in your business, okay? So how can you apply this? So for most local service businesses, this requires you to sell at a higher upfront cost. So depending on what your offer is right now, you might need to be able to charge more upfront in order for this to make sense, okay? Now, depending on what churn you have, cost of delivery, all of this stuff, you might have to tweak this, but I've tried to make some, make some examples of us for you that you would be able to use. So level one, the one-man jam offers. So for example, let's say you prepay for a year, uh, you prepay for a year of qu a quarterly pest control services and get one additional treatment for free. So basically how you get people to pay more upfront is then you give them something on the back end, right? And as you can see, not everyone will be able to pay for a year upfront, obviously, but this is just to give you some examples so that you can, you can get the thinking going, okay? It could also be schedule your next two house cleanings now and get the third for free, okay? Same thing like your window cleaner, right? Buy two cleans now, get the third one for free. What this will do as well is if you have a service like that that can be recurring, well then, if you have trouble retaining the customers, meaning that typically you go out and they go like, yeah, you know, let's just get this one and then we'll call you if we need more. And you say to them, but you know, we actually have this offer right now. If you, you know, if you <laughs> like to have your window cleans, uh, cleaned at all times anyway, why don't you get this and get the third one for free? Because then you get the customer to stay for three times, which means that you lower your churn, which also means that you have time, you have three services where you ideally meet them, which gives you a chance to upsell them, to cross-sell them to whatever it might be that is valuable to you. Uh, pay for 10 dog one uh, walks up front and get two additional walks for free, right? Purchase a, a 10 class pass up front and get two additional classes for free, okay? Sign up for 10 sessions and, uh, uh, and pay up front to receive a free fitness assessment, right? Then we have, so the, the thing with these offers here is basically you carry the cost and the risk, Okay, so you carry the cost of the additional treatment for free. So that's why I said, depending on, on how expensive it is for you to fulfill, this might not be a good idea for you. You might have to tweak the offer in another way, right? Schedule your, your next two house cleanings now and get the third for free. You have to cover that. Okay, so there are in, in, in basically these, this uh, level one, one man jam offers, you are covering that extra expense. So it might not make sense for you. That's why we have level two, which I called synergy offers or partner offers or whatever you, you want to call it, right? Pay for 10 dog walks up front and get a free grooming session from what, from a partner pet groomer, you know? So you might partner up with someone, let's say you're walking dogs, you find someone who is grooming dogs, that person who is grooming dogs, they want customers, they don't know how to get customers or they need more leads or whatever, you partner up with them and whenever someone buys 10 dog walks up front at your place, well, then they get a, let's say, 50% discount on your, on, on your partner groom or they get it for free or whatever makes sense for you. Okay. Second one, purchase 10 class, uh, a 10 class pass upfront and get a compliment, a, a complimentary nutrition com uh, consultation with our partner dietitian. Okay. Sign up for 10 sessions and receive a free chiropractic consultation with our partner chiropractor. Okay. So, Buy this now and get this thing from these other people, okay? Which is still great because it adds value to the offer and it doesn't put the cost of fulfillment on you. Now then, of course, you need to find a partner who is actually willing to fulfill this, but a lot of people are. You're essentially giving them a free, uh, you know, you're almost giving them a free customer. You're at, at the very least giving them a super hot lead because what you're selling is relevant to the problem that they're having. If they have a dog that needs to be walked, 10 times or where they're buying 10 dog walks up front, they probably also want their dog groomed, right? So, um, yeah, let's see here. So basically you get the, you get the customer with lots of cash up front, allowing for customer financed acquisition. Your partner 
gets a hot lead who is already excited and qualified. And you'll see most of these things, at least if you do it in a clever way, will for them be a lead to something or customer to some uh, uh, to them for the future, right? Because if you go to the chiropractor once, you might not you might need more than one session, right? So then of course they sign them up there, so they actually get a customer too. Okay, bonus tip, collecting upfront, for example, buy two services, get one free, whatever, because that's essentially the style of offer this is, also helps you decrease churn, like you, I said in, in the beginning. So it's important to note that there is a relationship between, between the win and the time. Okay, so the further out the win is for the customer, so the further out the free thing is. Okay, so if... If they are buying 10 cleans and get the 11th for free, that's very far out compared to buy two and get the third for free. So the further out it is, the less lucrative this offer will be to the customer, okay? So you have to take this into account. So let's say you start with something that's super close to them. They buy something now and immediately they get this free thing or the bonus or whatever you wanna call it. And then, depending on how we want to structure your offer, you can move that further and further out until, you know, people stop signing up and then you you sort of found the elasticity of that offer, okay? Just like you have price elasticity, which is how much can we increase the price before we actually losing money on it, you have the same thing with offers, okay? Uh, the further out the win is for the customer, the less attractive it becomes to them, okay? So the further out the win is for the customer, the more margin you will have on the offer, and the further out the win is for the customer, the less attractive it becomes to them because people want things instantly. You know, everybody wants the win yesterday. Okay, so next steps. If you run a local business and you're tired of paying for leads that are hard to convert, then this is for you. We'll optimize your offer, funnel, sales process, set up everything that is automatic email, SMS systems, CRM, all that good stuff. As a bonus, we actually run, so if you're doing any kind of advertising or promotion, we'll run all of that for you for free. You don't have to pay for that. Um, if that is something you would like to hear more about, I will leave a link in the description where you can schedule 15 minutes to speak with me or one of my team, and then we'll go through the whole process. Anyway, I hope this was valuable. Please take a look at these offers. If any one of them are uh, uh, you know, in your niche, uh, dog walking, you know, classes, whatever it might be, then try it. Let me know how it goes. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know if there are any specific issues that you're looking to have solved. Then I'll do my best to make a video uh, for you to help solve them. All right. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Bye.